More than 10,000 people in Ethiopia are taking part in an anti-U.S. rally in the capital. They denounced President Joe Biden's policy on the conflict in the country's northern Tigray region. People also showed their support for Russia and China. Thousands have been killed in the conflict, mainly civilians. America and its associates, without understanding the ways of the TPLF forces and disastrous acts, they're interfering in our domestic affairs by imposing travel sanctions and prerequisites, which can by no means be accepted. They should stop and think thoughtfully about the issue to correct it. U.S. President Joe Biden has called for a ceasefire in the conflict, which is now in its seventh month, and imposed restrictions on visas and economic assistance. But protesters say they're meddling. I came out today to oppose the idea of foreign countries trying to interfere in our domestic affairs and babysit us. We are a sovereign country. As a sovereign country, our people and our government decide for our country. Ethiopia, my country, will proceed forward and won't go back. America should take its hands off us, and Egypt should refrain from the Nile Dam to show them that we Ethiopians will continue as a nation. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed sent troops to confront the leaders of Tigray's ruling party, accusing them of attacks on federal army camps. Both sides have been accused by human rights groups of committing crimes against civilians, including mass rapes and killings.